So let's continue with the project setup. And in this video, we will install automated code formatter called Prettier. But if you don't like it, feel free to skip this video. But I personally prefer having automated code formatting enabled for my projects. So I don't need to handle semicolons or spacing, etc. It saves me a lot of time with formatting the code. If you want to read more, feel free to go to the Prettier website. There is a lot of readings, also full documentation and usage. So you can go through it if you are more interested. But for now, let's go to our project and let's set this up. So let's go back to our code editor. And first thing you need to do is to install Prettier package. So open terminal and type npm install. And also we need to save it to dev dependencies. And the package name is Prettier and hit enter. And if you now open package.json, you should see that we have a Prettier version 2 or later installed. And now we need to create a configuration file. So let's go to the root of the project and let's create new file. And the name is dot Prettier RC and hit enter. And if you are using the VS icons, you should also see this nice Prettier icon. And now in the file, we need to set up the automated code formatting rules. So I'm gonna give you my example, which I'm using, but feel free to modify it as you want. So first one is semi. And if you set it to false, it means it will automatically remove all the semicolons from your code whenever you say it, save your file. But if you like semicolons, feel free to leave it on true. The next one is single quote. And I'm gonna change it to true because I prefer single quotes over the double quotes. Next one is use tabs and I'm gonna set it to true. Then I will specify the tabs width. In my case, I'm gonna leave default, which is two. And the last thing is our parents and I'm gonna set it to avoid like this. So this is my prettier configuration. Again, if you don't like this or you want to change something, for example, I know people which prefer to use semicolons, feel free to change it to true. But again, this is my personal opinion and my recommendation. And I think that's it. There is nothing you need to do more. And in the next video, we will set up Babel. So we will be able to use the latest JavaScript features inside our testing project. So that's it for now and see you in the next video.